Hi everybody, Alexis here, Diamond Painting from the 311. Sorry about the shadowing. Yeah, but I can't do anything about that. Well, I did the video yesterday for the glass with the acrylic. And at the very, uh, like, middle of it, dogs started barking, people started yelling, opening and closing freaking doors and stuff. So, uh, had to 86 it. But it came out kind of weird. I'll show it to you here. I don't know what the deal was with this big ass blob right here. But this is how it looks without glass underneath it. As you, I mean, without a background underneath it. As you can see, you can see my fingers through it. So I figured I'd take it and put it in the window. And just let the light come through it. And see what happens. But today... We're going to do something a little different, and since you didn't see that, I'm going to give you something a little extra. I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to use the Apple Barrel paint. Since I am still new to this paint thingy, I don't go out and buy the really, really expensive ones yet. So I've got this glass to do, and I've got uh, some coasters six of these little suckers but i'm only going to do a few of them see how they turn out and then i'll go get some cork to put on the back but i got these the other day at walmart mm -hmm. they are they were um wooden circles six pieces under two bucks yeah can't beat that so i grabbed up two packages of them and i grabbed up two packages of a different kind uh so yeah and this was the Remember I said I had some problems, technical difficulties? Bam. This is called the tripod gun. I'm going to have to do something about this. It comes out like this and it sits, you know, like you, you push down on this little piece and it sits kind of like, you know, really weird and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it sits kind of like this. But. If I'm out at the park and with today's world being the way it is, and I'm like, hey, you think I might get shot carrying this? Mm -hmm. I think I might get shot carrying that. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be carrying this around until I, like, put some paint on it. Yeah, I paint everything. And uh, when I did the acrylic, I had some acrylic left over, so I play around with stuff. So before we get started this, I'm just letting the paint sit for a minute. I made some, uh, went and poured some into some of the molds I have. And because I am here in Detroit, this is going to be what I call the big ass cover minder collection. This one is mine. For when I get to working on those really big diamond paintings and I need a really big cover minder. Yeah, because I'm extra like that. So I'm going to start working on doing them in different colors and making them bigger so that I can like... You know, get a little collection. I'm going, I'm trying to master this, people, so that I can sell y'all some and give some away to those loving people out there. Y'all know who y'all are. Yes. Yes. This one I'm going to put on my keychain because I purposely left a little hole right here to see how long it will hold on. But, yeah. And then I did this little lion. So, I'm going to make uh, some cover minders and give them out to a couple of special people. Yes, and they're going to be called the Big Ass Cover Minder Collection. Yes, so I've got my paint ready. I didn't want y'all to sit and watch me pour paint. Yeah, and it's ready. It's got a little drip drip going on. So I have a blue, a Caribbean. I have a satin uh, red. And then I have a bright yellow, yellow, yellow. So I'm just going to try and do this with three colors. And I'm going to do like the guy said, you know, take a little emery board. I don't have a, um, a whatchamajigit right now with me. Piece of, um, whatchamacallit, what's that stuff? Sandpaper. And you're just going to take it. You don't want to crack the glass. But you just want to give it a little bit of... You know, a little scrapity scrape on the top just to give it a little bit of something so that the painter has something to hold on to. So I figure this is good enough. 
And since it's an experiment, I'm not going to tape off the back and the bottoms and all of that. It's just a little experiment to see how it's going to hold on. So, I'm going to hit it with... I said I wasn't going to do no paint for a while, but... <laughs> Videos be calling my name in the middle of the night, y'all. They be just like, get your butt up and watch us and learn how to do this crazy stuff. And then go downstairs and play with it, yeah. So I'm just going to, you know, hit it with a little paint around the edges and stuff. And spread that out just a little bit with a little stickity stick. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. So this is all very new to me. But I won't hit it with my big old heat gun. Because like I said, you know, they, they don't know me here in Detroit and some of these places. And they gave me fire. They actually gave me fire in the form of a big old torch. But I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to flatten it out. and Because uh, I'm going to pour paint on it anyway. And then I'll hit it with like my little, uh, if I can find it. My little barbecue torch, if I have to, I hit it with my little heat gun instead just to get the bubbles out or whatever. Whatever, whatever, but I just don't want to see no edges. I want to make sure that I cover the whole thing. I got to stop watching videos on how to do this shit at 3 o'clock in the morning. Good God, you know how sometimes you just be like, I can't sleep. I'm going to sit up and I'm going to watch some freaking videos. Yeah, that's me. And then I'll be like, ooh, I can do that. I want to learn how to do that. So I'm just going to hit it with my heat gun just to get out any little air bubbles that's in there. I do not want to hit it with any fire because fire will, like, crack the glass. And I'm not trying to have no accident. And what I have in my my cups with my paint is Floatrol. Floatrol. Everyone uses Floatrol. This is Floortrol. And then I have my paint medium. And I am using just straight Elmer's All Glue. And a little water. And uh, some paint oil. That is my silicone. Sorry about that. And this is what they sold me, y'all. Yeah. Bam! I got fire in the form of a torch. But I would never try to take and put, sorry about that, put this big ass thing to this little bitty thing. No, I ain't going to do that because then, you know, glass going to go shattering and be like, I'm blind, I can't see, I can't do nothing. So I ain't trying to do all of that. So we're going to do this first little one here. And I got the blue. I'm going to set it like right up here so y'all can see me do a little bit of this pouring in here. And I hope this turned out right. And even if it don't, buck fifty. Who can complain about a buck fifty? You know, really. Who can complain about a buck fifty? I'm just gonna let it slide down the side of the glass, the cup rather, just a little bit in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there. This is just a little bit of white, and it already has the floor trowel in there. Yeah, and it's already got all the stuff, the good goods. And I'm going to put a little bit of that red. And then we're going to put a little bit of that yellow. Just a little bit of that yellow. Because, see, I have to learn the amounts that I need per canvas. That's when math comes into play. Yeah. Numbers and all that good stuff. And that part I am haven't figured out yet. So I just, you know, do a little sun sign and a little sun sign. So while I'm doing a little sun sign and a little sun sign, I think that might do. Y'all think that's pretty? I think that's pretty. I'm going to go one more layer up just because I don't want it to run out. Even though if it does, I know it's okay to just add some more to this cup and keep going. I just don't want to have to do that. And I do want to get at least a couple of, you know, a couple of those little coasters done so that I can see what they're going to look like. And then I'm going to start 
up here. I hope y'all can y'all can't see that. So I'm gonna start like right here, and I'm gonna just start with a little circle. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I'll put another little circle. Let's go one more right over here. And we will have enough paint to go onto the coaster in this cup. And now, what do I want to do? I want to hit it with my heat gun. Because again, safety first, kitty. Safety first. Safety first, kitty. Safety first. And now, I'm just going to pick it up. And I'm going to start to slowly let it go from corner. And then come back. Can you see? Yes, you can. And then I'm going to go down this way. And then I'm going to go over this way. And I'm going to go down this way. And back over. And then with this one, I'm just going to leave it sitting here on the table and let it cure and dry. And do its thing and I don't know what I'm supposed to I guess I'll yes I do I'll put a coat of acrylic over it once it totally dries and um, does its thing but I just wanted to see how it would look and how it would hold up on the glass I don't like that blobby over there so we're gonna get that off and I don't like that down there, so I'm going to stretch that on out just a little bit more. And let that run down. And then bring it over some. And as you can see, I'm getting cells already up here. And I think that's good enough. I don't think I want to stretch it anymore. I don't think I want to do anything else to that one. And let me get a paper towel and wipe my hands. Where's my paper towel? I had it down here and I started moving stuff. Oh, I see it. Give me one second. I'm going to let that sit for a second. And then I'll hit it with the um, heat gun again. Because again, I don't want to put that direct heat from that big blowtorch onto it. Oh, God, I'm starting to sweat, and I was getting ready to take this paper towel and wipe my face. Oh, my gosh, and I'm still going to do it because I can't see. Hey, a little paint on the face. Never bothered anybody. All right. And the sales are coming. Yes, yes, yes. They are coming. And I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun. And the cells will grow. And get bigger and bigger and bigger. And this will change overnight. Because I did do one with plastic. And oh my god, I put gold on it. And the gold ate up everything. It ate up everything. I'll show it to you. When I'm done. I had this same color red inside the gold. And it was like bang. Like little planets coming out of the gold. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. The next day, the gold had eaten the red. So, I'm going to let that sit for a second. Oh, let me hold it up and let you see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when the cells, see these little dots, these little holes? Those are cells, and that comes from the floor trawl and from the, um, the oil. And that oil, actually, with the floor trough, has this crazy reaction and does these crazy things. And, oh, my God, creates some of the most beautiful stuff. So, 
we're gonna oops excuse me got the belch we're gonna see how many of these little coasters i can do with this so i'm just gonna i'm gonna put it like this so you can see it i'm just gonna raise it up really like kind of high and i'm gonna let this one just pour straight on to this okay and i know i'm gonna lose this white that i'm putting around here but that's just like a little extender so that when it does go over the side and i know yes i know i did not put any white down underneath but i meant not to do it i did not want any white underneath Okay, where is one of my skewers? Because I want to try something a little different. If it will work for me. Let's see if I can get it to do it. The skewer has no sharp point. I have like no red in here at all. That one is not going to turn out the way I want it. So guess what? I will just let that paint come off. And I will just turn it and turn it and turn it. And that white has actually gone underneath the green and everything. So I'm not really worried about it. Just sitting on top of the wood because now it is already sitting underneath I kind of like that and because I'm gonna put cork underneath and turn them into coasters I'm not really worried can you see it isn't that pretty so I'm gonna take this one I'm not gonna move it anymore and I'm going to set it back here so that it can just sit and then when they're all done i'll take them i'll take the you're gonna get shaken for a second i'm sorry but i'll show them all to you at one time all i did it up together and then i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna put some white Just like that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around. Let's do it from this direction. Ooh, I like the way that one is coming out looking. These are not going to look like they're part of the same set, but yeah. They are. And then I'm just going to spin this one a little bit. I like that one just the way it is. I like that one just the way it is. I'm going to hit these with the heat gun right quick. Let me hit this one back here. Because I don't want the heat gun to distort it too much. Because as you can see, it will. And I really don't care about that piece, you know, the paint underneath. Because again, here comes those pretty cells. I'm going to put some cork underneath. And I want that to stay nice and level and thick and pretty on the top. And I'm going to hold it up so that you can see it. Ain't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, and it's getting the pretty white cells are coming through. The cells are coming through. So I'll get up. Ah, don't you dare. I'm going to set that one right there. And we'll move on to another one. And I still have paint in this cup. But I'm going to go ahead and add some yellow. 
I'm going to just drop it right down in the middle. Drop the yellow. Drop some of that red. I'm going to drop some of that blue. Right into the middle. Now I'm going to give it a little swirly swirl. And that's it. I'm going to hit this one with just a little bit just like it's ex it's almost like it's an extender or just so that I know that there's paint underneath the bottom get out of there little air bubbles and that's something that you want to be very aware of when dealing with this paint it's just like when you're dealing with the acrylic you do not want to come back and look up and see that your beautiful work has a big ass air bubble in it and there is really not much you can do about it except for try to work it out and fill it in somehow some way at least with the acrylic you can you know like fill it in okay that's on the cup all righty and with this one i will just go swoosh 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 Oh, I like that. And then I'm just going to whirly, 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 swirly all around. I might have to add some of that red to that first one because it has, it has only a touch of it in there. But I like it just with that little touch of it in there. Was I out of view? And I kind of like the white. But I don't want too much of that negative space. So, but I don't want to lose like this either. My hair feels wet, which means it has paint on it. Oh, pretty sales, pretty sales, pretty sales. So, I'm going to set that one down. Again, hit it with my heat gun, activating no cells. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I'm just trying to get me a stockpile of things that I know I'm going to want to eventually put, you know, somewhere and sell them but you know you got to have a nice little stockpile because if people like your stuff they're going to want to buy it and you can't be like oh I'm sold out after I only made two you know so ugh, you don't want to do that so I'm just gonna and I'm learning all of this as I go and I don't want to sell anybody any crap so as I go and I learn I must really like you guys because I'm down here sweating like a runaway teenager on a Friday night. Okay? Oh my gosh. And I can't wipe my face because I am covered in paint. You see all this damn paint? That's why I had to start wearing gloves because my fingernails were staying covered in paint for two and three weeks. All right. Now. Let's move on to the next one. Bam! Yeah, I'm getting a lot out of these, uh, out of this little bit of paint, and I still have a lot left. Oh my gosh, I might have to put those in like some containers and um, save that. Okay. You know what? On to this one with a blow. With the blue on the background. So let's just give it a little blue. Yeah, let's change that up and use up some of this paint. Yeah, but whatever I don't use, I'll just take and put into a little squeeze bottle. And I'll use it tomorrow. Because I, um, I have found out that you can actually let this paint sit as long as it's closed. And you can let it sit up for a day or two or three or four. And then come back to it and use it. Yeah. And it will be perfectly well. It actually works better if you let it sit for a minute. And um, 
Then you come back and use it, and boom, you're good to go. So, now I'm going to give it, let's see. Let's give it another dirty from way up high. I'm starting to get a little muddy here. So, we're not going to do anything to this one, but let it come just straight out. I'm not going to do any tilting or anything. I'm just going to let this one level itself out. And I think I'll add like a drop. A couple of drops of yellow. Into it. And a couple of drops of red. Into it. A little bit of red. And then take my stick. And swirly, 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 swirly. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't like that. So, guess what? Guess what you do when you don't like something? I do this. I get another cup. And I just scrape it right off. Boom. And now what I will do is I will pour this out like down to the bottom and start over with this same cup but with different combination of color. We'll put in the cut same colors in but in a different way. And then try it, you know. We can try all over again. Okay. And guess what? I'm not going to even do nothing to this top. I'm going to see what happens if I just do it like this. Can y'all see? That's what's in the cup. And now I'm going to see what's going to happen when I put it on this little disc. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really pretty. It doesn't go with those, but hey. I don't really give a two damn Charlotte. I like that. So I have three there. And I guess I can get three out of this one. Hi. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I forgot that stick is stuck to the table. Well, to the cardboard. So, I guess I'll have three in that style. And three in this style. Boom, boom. And that's all right with me. Oh, I just poured water on my canvas. Y'all didn't see that. Stop looking. Y'all didn't see that. Nope, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. Where's my white? It's okay, because uh, the paint has white in it, water in it too. So, that doesn't really matter. That really does not matter. I'm going to just spread this out a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is, this, this, I'm a messy person when it comes to like painting and stuff like that, so... Yeah, that's the fun part about it with me. And I would not want to do any kind of hobby where I got to be super clean about it. And, except for the diamond painting and stuff where you really got to be organized and, you know, keep your drills and shit together or life becomes like hell. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just flattening out that paint around the edge. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to do like... Oops, sorry, Casey. I'm going to do uh, just straight down the middle. I love it when those colors just start to come out together like that. Let that yellow run out. Ain't no yellow come out like I wanted the yellow to come out. So the yellow going to come out. 
in the middle. And then a little bit of blue on top of that. And then I'll just take it. Sorry, I have to remember that I'm videotaping. And then I'll just take that and I will swirl that around. And then I will just keep on swirling. It's really easy and it's fun. And you don't have to spend a thousand dollars to get started doing this. You know, these those little those little bottles of paint. 50 cents at Walmart, dudes, and dudettes. Yeah, 50 cents at Walmart. Yeah. I bought them, I, I bought like $20 worth. Yeah, and I just, I just have them over here in a big old tub. Okay? And they just, whatever color I want, I, I have. And with the situation going on right now, you know, things are on sale really, 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 really cheap. So, I can go in there now and get those for like a quarter in certain places. Yeah. Yeah. I can actually get them for a quarter in certain places. So, I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Oh, y'all can't see me. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And y'all know this. And I don't want to hear, oh, you doing that wrong? Because guess what? This is my world. and ain't no wrong way to do my world. For me. All right? For me. There ain't no wrong way for me. Okay, it might be a wrong way for everybody else, but not for me and my world. Can't nobody tell you you're doing something wrong in your world. When the hell are they to tell you what you're doing wrong in your world? They can't. They just can't. Nobody can. So now I'm going to I'm gonna just do a little line. Like this. And then a little line. Like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna give it a little a little touch of the white. Like this. And then a little touch more. No, 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 no. And then I wanna give it a little line of these. And then I want to give it a little line of these. And what am I going to do with it? Fuck if I know. I don't know. Y'all supposed to tell me. And then I'm going to give it a little line of this. Going all along the outside. And then I'm going to take a... This is my trusty vacuum blow dryer. Bam. That's it. Booyaka, booyaka. I'm sorry I moved y'all. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Ain't that pretty? Is that not pretty? And that's all six discs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to um, let you see what they look like up close and personal now, and then I am going to check out on you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh, sorry, I keep on pushing on y'all. I'm so, so sorry. I am so, 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 so sorry. You are about to hear door slam. People talking, dogs barking, please excuse the noise, but I am not going to stop this video this time. All right, all right. So let's get an up close and personal look at what we did tonight. Uh, let's take a little look, see here. That is the last one. 
Look at those beautiful cells popping out. Aren't they gorgeous? Yum, 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 yum. This one didn't get too many cells. Just a few right there. But I like this one. This one, psychedelic. These three will be a set. This is crazy, mild, wild. Then we have these three right here, which are in the green world. Okay, can you see them? Can you see them? I know my camera angles are not the best, but there it is. And there it is. And there it is. And then we have the paint on glass. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can. That came out kind of nice, I must say. But I really, 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 really do like this one. I really like that one. I think that one came out absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, that's what's going on down inside the cup. There are more cells growing inside that cup. So, it, it may be... I'm going to have to put this paint up into some containers. And then, um... Tomorrow, I'll do another video where I do it on some oblong wood. Yes. So, that is six coasters plus some glass. Hey, you guys got a bonus. And it's dark down here in this freaking basement. So, I'm about to put this stuff up. And then I'm going to tell you like I always tell you. Remember, what you put out there will what? It will always come back to you. So remember, put some love, some peace, some joy, and some understanding out there into the world, and you will get what? Love, peace, joy, and understanding back. So until we meet again, good folks, please stay home, stay safe. Second wave of this bad virus is on its way. So don't think just because somebody is outside sitting on the beach that it's safe to go outside and sit on the beach, because it is not. So until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, and in tomorrow's video, I'll show you what these all look like dry. And then in the next day's video, I'll show you what they look like with some acrylic on them. Hi. How you doing out there, peeps? So until we meet again, bye.